What up? Car Chats episode 15. We in South Carolina today with JP Audemar. I'm going to invite him right now. Let's go. It's been a minute, I know. Sorry about that. Been going through my own shit. You know how it is. Live life. Go through it. Let's go. Uh, JP... Uh, All right, we're just waiting for the homie. Should be here any minute. Yes, what up, brother? What's up, bro? How you doing, homie? Good, how about you, bro? You know me, man. I'm always chilling. Uh, you know that. Yes, sir. So, what's up, bro? Tell me what's up. How's South Carolina and shit? Man, it's cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. It's getting there, bro. It's probably not as cold as it's up there for you, but shit, it's cold. Yo, don't 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 fucking judge Canada like that. We ain't always that cold, bro. It ain't that bad <laughs> right now. It ain't bad right now. My my igloo's still my igloo melted, bro. I'm still oh, I'm yeah. still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, but no, this is episode 15 of Card Chats. We're in South Carolina with JP Audemar. That's the homie. I met him through Sunset Black. Shout out Sunset Black for being in the chat right now. Yes, uh, so yeah, man. Oh, I like the bucket hat. It's, that's fucking, that's dope drip, bro. That's fresh. I like it. I like it. I fuck with it. Yeah, nice. Hell yeah. Shit. I fuck with bucket hats, bro. I got a couple upstairs, but. I got my I got my fade and shit done the other day, so I'm I'm trying to wrap that first. But yeah, <laughs> <I feel laughs> you know. But uh, yeah, okay. So when did you start making music, dude? All right. So look. So I made a song. All right. So like seventh grade, I started actually like getting into music shit. I never recorded anything. So how wait? How, how old are you right now? I'm 22 years old. You know. What I'm saying? Oh goddamn, bro! <laughs> you a youngin. Yeah, exactly. But listen, so shit. Eighth grade, I I uh I made a song with this girl named Sylvia, and um she did she played the piano and she sung the hook and I did the two verses and it was about Sandy Hook the, sh the school shooting. Damn. Okay. Is Every that on? Is that online still? It's it, it wasn't even out. It was, it was um, for a school um for like a talent show type thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and that was like my first performance and shit and my first like music I actually did type. Shit. And ever since then, I've been going at it. But, like, through high school, I kind of slowed down. And then when I got right. out, I got right back on it. So, right. And, like, how, what what kind of – what style would you consider your music? Like, because, you know, hip-hop's coming all of these sub-genres sub and shit now. Like, there's emo hip-hop, and then there's fucking just drug hip-hop. So, like, what would you consider you? I think it's more of, like, a pop – Type rap type you know, like like, like a mainstream thing, more like a mainstream thing, yeah. Yeah, that's that that that's that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get that you just, uh, that one banger that just fucking brings you out, bro. That's what it is. Right. So like, what are you working on right now? Like, tell me, like what have you like what have you dropped recently, and what are you working on right now? All right. So the most recent thing I dropped was uh, my project for my. It's got seven tracks. It's produced by the same producer, Zayek. Shout out Zayek. You know what I'm saying? And um, tell him haul at me. I'll interview him. Well, it's actually it's pronounced Zayek, but I say Zayek just because of how it's spelled. But yeah, so um, shout out Zayek. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's that that whole album right now on Spotify is at seventy three thousand views. You know what I'm saying? Shout out everybody. That's what's up. I appreciate it. You know. That's but, um, that's good numbers, brother. Congrats. No cap, no cap, and that's like some big. But yeah, I got um. I, I'm working on a song right now that's more of like a, like a dance dubstep type of song type shit. Like it's not even a rap genre. And right, right. Okay, I feel you. I used to, I used to when I was making music back in the day when I was a hip hop artist doing shit. Uh, the first person I worked with that I made like a like a like club banger like back in the day. Remember how it was all like spacey type shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I had a guy in uh in Sweden, his name was Cadillac at the time. Now it's now it's Eric Eminon, but uh oh, shit. yeah, he was uh he he made like this EDM type uh track and it was fucking it was just fire, you know what I mean? It got fucking mad rounds. At the time I was using MySpace, you know what I mean? So like I'm that old, bro. I was putting my music on MySpace. Damn. And like I had like man, my views, my views on MySpace were wild though, bro. Like I, in my city, I had mad views. Real talk. 
I'm not even I'm not even talking shit. No cap. Like people like if they saw my MySpace, they'd be like, "Fuck, that's a lot of fucking numbers, bro." I was never on MySpace. I wasn't that. I wasn't like. I guess that ain't my age group. You know You're, that ain't your era, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if you joined, Tom was gone. <laughs> <laughs> like the the thing but, I was really on with my age was like probably Facebook. That's like the main thing. Now it's Snapchat and shit like that. Yeah, I used to get kicked off Facebook for promoting my music all the time, bro. I used to like be like, yo, I did. I used to go on like famous artist pages and be like, yo, I just did this track with this guy. And like the one time the artist was like, yo, stop lying. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was just capping hard, bro. I was just trying to get people to check my shit. <laughs> hey, you got you to hustle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, that's what I do, man. All I do is network with people, you know what I mean? I talk to everybody, I try to get, like, shit popping, and if they want to get it, you know, let's go, man. Like, that's what I do. I like hearing about people's shit. Hell yeah, and I appreciate this so, interview, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you already know. I know. Sorry about the other day, bro, but I told you I'd get you as soon as I can. You good, you good. No yeah, problem. man. Ah. And, you know, you know, we both, we both lit right now, so yes, tell me, like, what are you working on right now? You working on an EP or something? All right, so I'm working on my album right now. I'm, I'm I'm planning on getting like like maybe like 23 tracks, and I'm only saying that because that's a this, lot of tracks, bro. This year, my birthday's on February 23rd, and I'm about to be 23. You know what I'm saying? Bro, my bir my birthday's February 20th. Oh, shout out February 20th. You know yeah, <laughs> shout out Pisces, bro. <laughs> no cap. No cap. <laughs> the the, emo the emotional motherfuckers. No cap, bro. <laughs> No. Real shit, bro. <laughs> Fucking Pisces got so we're so emotional and shit. I hate it. Word. We be going through some shit. People don't understand, man. Yeah, bro. I just be fucking going through shit, and they're like, "Yo, what's wrong?" I'm like, you don't even want to know, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't. Know. You you don't want to be in this head of mine, man. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no one wants to be yeah. in these shoes. <laughs> that mindset built different with them Pisces. <laughs> yeah. You know, like fucking just, I got, a, just, I just got a group of brand new haters and shit recently. So they're just fucking hating, and I'm just loving it. You know what I mean? It's all jokes to me. Hey, when you get haters, that's when you know you popping. <laughs> you know what Bro, I'm saying? You know what I mean? I do these interviews and shit. Like it's not like I get mad numbers and shit, but the, you know what? I do it because I enjoy it and shit. You know what I mean? So like fuck, like fuck the numbers. You know what I mean? I like to get to know people. And then like if I'm ever in that spot where you guys are living or something, I got people to chop it up with. Facts, facts. You know what I mean? But enough about that. My bad. Let's talk more about this album you want to do. Because 23, 23 tracks sounds like a 90s type album, bro. 23 tracks, right? It's going to be called AP by JP. You know what I'm saying? AP What's the AP? AP, is? AP for what? AP stands for Audemars Piguet. The okay. You know yeah. What? JP Audemars, that's my favorite watch. And I'm yeah, I, I, fig I figured that when I saw your name. I'm like, this motherfucker likes that watch. <laughs> uh, I'm a jewelry motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I'm Bro, if, if you get popping, if you get popping, Audemars might fucking sponsor you, dog. Dude, if that shit happen, it'd be overtime. I'd be rocking. Bro, let, three let me network. Three. I'm gonna haul at them. I'm gonna haul at them and show them this interview. I'm gonna talk to them, see what they say. Bet. <laughs> Bro, trust me, man. We'll get we'll get something popping. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later. <laughs> We all going up, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't rest until someone answers me, bro. Like I'll, I'll harass a motherfucker. All right, <laughs> no cap. Yeah, but yeah, like, uh, so 23 tracks. You're doing t like an EDM track right now. What's the, what's that track gonna be called? The EDM track that I'm doing is called Together. 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 What up, Sh Shortcake Five? What up? If you don't follow me, follow me. If you don't follow JP Audemars, follow him. Let's go. But yeah, 23 tracks, EDM tracks. It's going to be called what? I missed that. My bad. It's going to be called Together. Together? All yeah. right. It's basically, the moral of the song is like, like me, me and whoever together, as in like, like whenever I find that one, because, you know, man, they be just be playing out here. That's all I got to say. But you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When I find out I'll one. I'll hear you, dog. When I find that one and she hears she she gonna understand like like literally it goes you and me together we could be anything. That's that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the moral of the story type shit. Yo bro, you got you got a pretty dope singing voice, man. You you can fucking do some shit with that, man, for real. Appreciate it. But that's another yeah, that's how I wrote the song. I wrote the song to be without a beat. If Word. I 
shit and it still be melodicized and people will fuck with it without a beat, that's how you make music right there. That's how you make so, it. Yo, you you know the verse and shit right now? Yeah, I mean, I could I could spit the the uh, spit it, songs. spit it. You and me together, we could be anything, anything. Smoking on my pressure, I got so many strings, so many strings. All these people around me, and they all call me friend. They call me friend. I don't trust no one around me. Only family till the end. Family till the end. You know, word, word, word. I like it. I fuck with it, bro. You're Please. definitely, you're definitely a Pisces, dog. <laughs> <laughs> know that. <laughs> you can hear it in your songs, bro. But like, that's the type of shit I fuck with. Those like, those real like, fucking hit you in the fucking heart when you're hearing it. You like, know what I mean? Some music I feel you, like, bro. You remind me, you remind me of the type of music I made when I was b making it back in the day, and I like that. So, like, I fuck with that. Like, I'm definitely gonna fuck with your music, bro. So, like, when you have it out and shit, send it to me, and I'll put it on my YouTube and shit, so you have another platform. But appreciate it, bro. You know I'm saying that. Yeah, anything you want, man. Just send it to me. I'll make a small video on it, and I'll put it up. But, but I'll let you. And know. like. Whenever you have like a lot of information or whatever you want to talk about, we can do it live anytime, bro. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, it's, it's called car chats. It's called car chats because we talk about whatever the fuck people talk about while they're driving. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, usually it's talking about music. Sometimes it's politics. Sometimes it's wanting to beat a motherfucker. <laughs> Hell yeah! I got a lot of shows coming up too. Recent word. I got um. So I got a show at the North Charleston Coliseum with okay. Loki Lee and Bubba Sparks. You know what I'm saying? Oh, word, Bubba Sparks, huh? Yes, sir. Oh uh, shit, yo! If you if you got a mat, if you got a if you got in touch with them and you talk to them, you got to do me a favor. Tell them hit me up and do an interview, bro. You got to do that for him, I, man. I'll literally walk up to him and I will make sure that he follows you on Instagram, bro. Do it, bro. If you do that for me, bet I will hit you back with something big. I will get you a show out in Canada. Bro, I'm... Shit. I'll hop on the plane right now. You know what I'm saying? Bro, no, no cap. I'll get you on a plane, bro. And we'll, we'll get you in a show and we can fucking figure something out, bro. It'll be lit. And I got the team with me so we can get a whole show popping. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm tell, yo, man, if you want to... After this, if you want to chop it up and talk about it on a, on a private thing, let's do that yeah, and we'll figure yeah. something out. I'll get that. But definitely get Bubba Sparks, bro. If I get a Bubba Sparks interview, I'm going to fucking deal with that. That's going to be oh, dope. Bro, I'll get you that shit, bro. That's just going to be dope. I'm going to make sure I get that shit. And I'm going to tell Sunset and Loki to make sure we get that shit. Yeah, Sunset already knows I fuck with him. He knows I got him like 100 and and Loki Lee too. Last time I interviewed you all, like while you guys were at the restaurant and shit, like it was a dope interview. You know what I mean? Y'all go check out Sunset Black Music and Loki Lee Music. You know what I'm saying? Go check yeah, out. Yeah, definitely. Buy up big Go check out Smoke. Yeah. Engineer, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, bro. The people I've been the people I've been interviewing, like from Atlanta, Florida. And now South Carolina, like I'm on an American wave, bro. I don't, I'm not even interviewing Canadians right now, bro. I'm on American waves. That's what I'm saying, like, bro, bro. I'm doing it out of, out of country. This shit crazy for me now. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's 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 a small platform, but it's something. You know what I mean? There's people watching, and they're gonna be able to watch it after and shit too. So, <clears throat> but like, so 23 albums. What's the concept of the album? Like, what like what what what's the concept of it? Like, all right, so. Honestly, like when I started taking my music serious, like what four or five years ago, I thought of this album. Right. Like when I, made, like when I officially made my name JP Audemars, I was like, I need an album, JP. And my my all right, so I have I have three rap names. My first rap name was JP Money. Okay. My second rap name was JP with the AP. So when I made JP with the AP, I was like, I need an album called AP. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, and ended up waiting on it because, of course, I came out with for my people and my EP before a whole bunch of other shit. I've been waiting on it because I like, like I need to take a little time because that's gonna be like my masterpiece album type shit. That's gonna get me out here type shit, and that's gonna have like ED, like indie music, have all. Word. I'm trying to like. 
completely different with this shit. And people is not going to know what's going on with this shit. They ain't going to know. They're going to be like, this dude from South Carolina and from Florida. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And I'm from Wisconsin. What the fuck? I'm from every, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You're from Wisconsin too? Yeah, bro. I lived in Wisconsin for like seven years. I lived in Florida since I was eight. So like eight years. And I lived here for about fucking however many years after that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what, why Why did you move so much? What was the real? What's the deal with that? Um, it's not like it, my parents aren't in the military or anything, but like, I don't know. Well, all right. So we lived in Florida. I grew up in Florida because a lot of my family was down here. And then we moved to Wisconsin because my dad had some job shit going on. And yeah. I grew up in Milwaukee. So okay. we moved around like Green Bay, Green Bay area type shit. So, okay. Uh, lived there for a couple of years and then we moved down here because a lot of our family moved to like Mount Pleasant and like like Charleston area type shit. Yeah. So we here to get closer to family and shit and closer to Florida again type shit. We really didn't have family up in Wisconsin, but it was lit. Shout out. Definitely, Word. Definitely a Florida boy. I'm a I'm a island boy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't fucking kill me, bro. <laughs> I'm an island boy. I'm an island boy. Hey, my, my whole oh. like, wait, wait. Florida ain't no island. That shit. He say, I'm a peninsula boy. What the hell? <laughs> yo, he, he, he was killing me, man. Everybody was hating on him. They're like, yo, you live on Flo you live in Florida. <laughs> it's not an island, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm yo, they, but, yo, it's crazy, man. They got signed the Kodak Black and shit over that bullshit. I couldn't believe it, man. Like, what the Kodak, that's how they've been buying cars and watches. <laughs> yeah, you see, yo, you see their damn hair, bro? They look exactly like Kodak, but they got this fucking weird-ass paint with it. <laughs> no, I just seen, like, after they came out with that shit, like, the past few days, I've been seeing them post, and they've been having, like, like Rolexes, and I don't know if they had an Audemars or not, but they've been having some ice out shit. They've been copping cars, and I don't know if they really buying the cars. You know how people are on Instagram. Yeah, yeah they, man, but, these motherfuckers be renting shit just to take like, pictures but, and shit. But the, their pictures, they make it look like they got signed. Yeah. They probably got signed by somebody, but I'm trying to find out who. And Kodak. Clearly, I didn't hear about that, though, so it must have been said quietly type shit. No, I was reading about it. Kodak Black apparently signed them. That's why they got that fucking money. Damn, I was wondering that shit, but yeah. <laughs> Yo, you got it. You, I, I, don't, I don't even fucking, like, I, I, I even see it. I knew Kodak would sign them just because the fucking hair, bro. Oh, you have. Yeah. <laughs> That's bro, that I'll, I'll, I'm I'm finna get my hair like that and just get signed and just start making some random music. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> I'm a city boy. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, bro, for real. I'm a city boy. I'm from Canada, boy. I'm from Canada, boy. American waves. <laughs> American waves. <laughs> <laughs> no, but fuck, man. Like for real. Like this is what I'm talking about. Like people like that getting signed and shit piss me off, man. I mean, like, look. Shout out to them. Yo, all, all, all respect to them doing their little fucking like grind and fucking video that they knew was gonna get hate. They knew that shit was gonna get hate. They knew it. Bro, I'm telling you, like, like literally, I'm like four or five years ago. A lot of people don't remember, but I remember seeing them. They went a little viral for some shit. And then they really? the two the island boys, you know what I'm saying? And then um apparently they came back. I don't know, but everybody's talking about they've never seen them and shit. And like they're like they're like all mad that they've been getting famous. But honestly, they've been doing this shit for a long time. They've been hustling. So shout out to them for even like like the fact that they even did that shit and it popped shout out. Because like I really I'm not doing that shit, so I can't hate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel you. But like, uh, yeah. Again, anybody that's in the chat that's not following me or JP Audemar, make sure you follow us for real. But yeah, yeah back to the talk. Yeah. So 23 songs. It's gonna be a mix of everything. Um. Uh, so you're gonna have Sunset Black and Loki Lee on that, I'm sure. Yes. Yes. Most definitely. When you when you hit up that. No, so when you, yeah, when you hit up that Bubba Sparks concert, you're going to try and get a collab with him for it? Uh, I might. I don't really you know. Sh I'm just going to... You should, bro. I think I think it would be dope to have an, have an OG on a track, bro. It might be dope. I mean, it'd be good for, like, like business and uh, opportunity and shit, but, like, I don't know. Just as a person, I don't know how I feel about it. 
Yeah, I know what you mean. You just don't feel like it's a good a good connection. I feel you. That's cool, bro. It's just at least you're cool. honest. You know I mean, at least at least you're not just trying to get artists for clout and shit. Yeah. Hey, on some real shit though. So like, so shout out famous. What up, school of hard knocks? If y'all know famous Dex. A Dex. Yeah. Oh man, goddamn. All right, so look, I've been texting motherfuckers since 2018, bro, to try. Yeah. To and of course, you know, I didn't expect him to hit me back. Literally, like. A few weeks ago, he hit me back 5K for the future. I'm saving up for that shit. 5K, bro, man. Talk him down, bro. Talk him down a bit. You're I'm indie. You're indie. indie. And tell y'all that I'm going to get this feature down, but I'm trying my best to get the feature down. So, like, sooner or later, if I come out with a X feature, this shit going to be hit. <laughs> and I'm going to put that shit up, bro. I'm going to get that Cole Bennett music video. I'm going to be like, yo, contact yo, Cole Bennett, because I know y'all close as fuck type shit. <laughs> Yo, School of Hard Knocks, if you're not following me, follow me, bro. I'm following you right now. Y'all follow me, too. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Shout out GGE, my music group. Oh, Shout wait. I'm already following this guy. My bad. <laughs> Shout out Fire Up, Big A. You know what I'm saying? SJB Fire yeah. Yo, and stout, shout out to uh, Satan.ca for the crew neck, you know, you know the sponsors. Saying? Gotta love the sponsors, you know what I mean? When I had the when I had the auction and shit, they had a hella fucking... They had they sent me a big ass package for people to win and shit. It was dope, you know. Yeah. So I got some I got some dope ass sponsors and dope ass people who supported the show. Like I just posted that photo shoot uh, drop earlier. It's getting mad fucking lights. I like it. I got a um, I got a music video dropping this week. Okay, yo, before you before you drop it, make sure you send it to me so I can drop it the same day. I got you. I got you. I'll definitely say That'll that. work that way. That way, that way, we could both promote it. I'll promote it on my story, and you can promote it on yours. I've had it finished for like, for like a week and a half, but I sent it back to my photographer who actually videoed the thing because he does little edits and shit. And I told him to add some little edits and shit. So like within the tomorrow or the next day, I should get it and I'll be able to post it. Word. Let me know. Definitely this week though. Cheers. Yeah. I'll, definitely, bro. What are you sipping on? Oh, you already know what I'm sipping on. Ah, uh, okay. Peach. I this normally though. You know what my favorite uh -huh. peach drink is? Uh -huh. Shout out to Bird Dog Pete. That's the best <clears throat> whiskey out here. You know what I'm saying? No word. Cap. No. Cap. Yo, I gotta, I gotta get out there, bro. Bro, you need to pull up down here. And we need to get a show going, and we can get you an ass interview shit, bro. I'm talking like, bro, I'll, I'll interview, I'll interview everybody after their fucking performance, bro. It'll be a fucking live ass fucking set. That's no cap. Saying. And we'll get you but, like your own room set up with mics and shit, like. That's what I'm saying, bro. Podcast looking thing type shit. Yeah, man. Fine. Hold on one second. My bad. Let me just let me wave to my homie six six thirty hands down. Dope artist, man. He makes dope shit. I can't wait till he drops stuff. Shout out. God, God damn it, my fucking phone's a piece of shit. Shout out, white oh. girl. I good, but, like, I try not to drink beer no more. My face got fat. <laughs> <laughs> no Cap care. City. Cap City vibes, yo. The Cap City vibes that's in the chat right now, she's one of the uh, dope promoter for the artists in my city, man. Okay. Yo, so I'm, like, I'm trying to come perform in Canada type shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm from South Carolina. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, make sure make sure you follow JP Audemars, man. Dude's dope. He's a fucking dope artist, man. <laughs> and he's lit. He's just so like you said. How? What was the numbers on that track? You said my my album has got seventy three thousand views on Spotify right now. My most recent album I dropped. That's, That's fucking my, dope, bro. That's fucking dope. And my first music video I dropped about eight months ago. It's just yeah. 7K. So, Yo, that's good, man. You're getting numbers, bro. That's good. At least you're, you're grinding, man. I mean, I'm going to be honest. Look, when I first started making music, I never promoted, bro. Like, I promoted to my people, post on my Snapchat. I didn't really send that shit out like I needed to, and I didn't really promote it like I needed to. as well. I didn't really take it serious. I just posted it and expect shit to, to grow. And yeah. that's how my shit be low. But now, I've grind, especially with that tour I took in May, yeah. That shit have my numbers going up a lot. It's that grinding shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. It's all about the shows and shit, man. You're always, you're going to get like different people and shit, you know what I mean? 
And shout out Slummerville and uh, Sunset Black, low key me for put me onto that tour type shit. No cap. Yeah, definitely. So like, you're you're a solo artist or are you Slummerville? Bro, I'm a solo artist. I ain't signed shit, but I'm all I'm right. Slummerville. Shout out. Slummerville. I always I always thought I always thought like you guys were all in a, in a team, so that's why I didn't know you were a solo artist until you told me. Look, I consider myself in music groups, and I say groups because I'm in like two different groups, like individual. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to say they don't really fuck with each other music-wise, like, together like that, like they should. Because if we work together, we could do this shit. Like, if everybody, if all these local artists... It's hot, they don't, they don't, you, it's the same here, man. There's no unity. If everybody worked together, we could blow up as a city. That's what people don't understand. Yeah, you're right, man. There's no cat, man. You're fucking telling the truth. And this state, South Carolina, this is what I've heard from a lot of people. We're too geeky. And Geechee is like the the slang for like how how they how we talk down here Charleston talk because apparently it's too Jamaican and that's why we're not in the industry that's what I've heard a lot of bullshit about also but like Geechee or not these motherfuckers is hard out here in North Charleston half these motherfuckers be rapping on cheap slang and shit they got in their music it's fire as fuck but people yo I know I got it. I yeah. had a lot of artists I fucked with back in the day from South Carolina, man. South Carolina and North Carolina, they both go oh. hard, man. Rayleigh, Rayleigh, Carolina's got fucking mad fucking artists, bro. Yo, I'm posting this right now. SFG King, look him up. He's from he's from North Charleston. He just got signed like like a month ago or maybe two months ago. But he, dude, he is fire as fuck. Shout out King Hunter, Scoop Benji. You know what I'm saying? Word. Hey, tell him, yo, just holler at him. Tell him to hit me up and I'll interview him, bro. Shout out J Rod, you know what I'm saying? He's a fire yes, sir. around here. That's what I'm saying, man. There's gotta be like more unity in these in these cities, bro, because like there, so nobody us that nobody know. fucking with each other is gonna make nobody make money. That's what I'm saying. And so many of us know each other and the music shit around here that I know specifically, but like nobody just wants to work together. Even if they don't quote fuck with each other, like we could do something to help each other as a group. You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah. <laughs> Like, you guys could do, like, a fucking South Carolina cypher, bro, and, like, it'd, it'd be, like, a unity fucking track. Or, like, if, if we, like, started some shit, like, like we did, like, a, a, like, YouTube videos of us, like, freestyling individually, but as a group also, like, random shit, like, downtown or, like, even, like, in the cut somewhere, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we could do random, yeah. but it has to do with our music as a group or individually, but still as a group in the, in the video itself. And like we could make a YouTube channel type shit, like yeah, and blow up as a. It'd be like a. What I'm trying to get at is like we could make a whole movement, but people don't understand. I don't even know. They don't, you know, they're 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 too they're too like they're too self absorbed, man. Yeah, facts. But like, I mean, that's that's everywhere, man. That's here too. I see it a lot here too. But like I went. Yeah. I went through I went through my phase of doing music and shit, man. Like I still I I still like it to get behind the mic and shit, but like I got so much shit in my head that I gotta say that people are just gonna get pissed off. Yeah, <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> you know, like I just got so much anger in my head that like it's just gonna come out like fucking just straight up hating on motherfuckers I just don't like. <laughs> no cap. But then again, like I'm not I'm like. I make I'm a podcast about like like hip hop and music and arts and mental health and shit. So like I I try to like be as positive as I can. Like these car chats are different. Like I'm swearing and shit. Like I don't really care because like no cap. you know it's whatever, bro. Like I, it's I don't have any children watching this shit. So like yeah, if like someone's mad that I'm swearing, report the fucking video. Like <laughs> <laughs> no cap. You no, know? there's a lot of rats on Instagram, bro. Fuck like it. Too many rats on Instagram. There's ops everywhere, bro. Every corner. Always a fucking rat somewhere, man. Bro, every step there's a there's a rat. <laughs> and that's the thing, man. That's the problem. Like, when, if they're if they're a rat and and they're in the street, it's on site. Like, it's just simple as that. Like, it's right on site. <laughs> no cap. But yeah, like so, like the album was called AP. AP. What? Just AP? AP. I got a cover for it, but I can't pull it up in the live. I wish I could. Usually yeah, I, can, well, I can pull a picture up in the live, but it, I, I don't know. It's if, you send, if you send it to me, I'll put it on my fucking story. All right, but I got you. All right, but like, 
So how many, like, who, who, like, what other artists are you featuring on the album? You have, like, a set list, or? Yeah, I'm gonna have, um, Smoke, my engineer. I'm gonna have Eclipse. Shout out Eclipse. Um, and I'm gonna have Fire Big A on also. And I'm, I'm gonna, I might get a Charlie Station feature. It depends on if he's down for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and I'm. I got like some other people I could put on it. I just gotta figure out like the time length and shit, get everything done. I mean, yeah. Just because like and, uh, that would do like I want features on and they've contacted me back type shit. They're out of state, so I don't know how fast. Shit, you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, I gotta figure shit out. But I got when do you when do you plan on dropping it? Um, shit. <laughs> Definitely yeah. before March of next year. And not next All year, right. coming up. Word, not that word, long. word. Okay, so 2022, we could expect AP. Definitely That's dope. February. And, and, and like, what, what shows, What? how many shows you got coming up? All right, so I got the North Charleston Coliseum show for the Ram Fight Championship. Shout out Ram Fight Championship. Um, I got that coming up January 22nd. And then I don't exactly know the date right now because I forgot at the moment. The sunset will let me know. There's another show we're having at the river with like three different DJs. There's going to be like two rock bands, three country artists, and like 17 other random genre artists. And then, of course, I- I'm going to be performing. Sunset's performing, Loki perform. But yeah, we're having a show out there that's going to be lit too. Um, and then for that, I think I think that's what we got just for this year. Like as in yeah. December. And then... Yeah. Coming up next year, I'm going to be setting up a lot more shows. But every Saturday, I go to a bar called Ridgeville Roadhouse, and I perform out there. I also – I'm like a mid-DJ slash hype man, as in, like, I, if the artists sign up to perform, I'd be like, yo, I shout their name out, and I'd be like, how are y'all doing that? Like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And every Sunday, also at Ice House, I go to, which I'd be posting all my shit on Instagram and shit, if you ain't seen that shit. Ice hey, House. I, saw, I saw a couple – Hell yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm trying to think. Like, uh, how, how do you, like, right now, like, so how long have you been rapping for, do you think? How many years? Rapping seriously? Probably about yeah. five years. How long? Five or six years. Okay. And, and in that, in that time frame, how much do you think you progressed? Like, what do you? What's changed? What's gotten better? Like, all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. So like the first few years, I just rap, but I also took it serious. But I didn't take it too serious enough to like where I was like, hey, I need to make money off it. I need to promote it like this. I need to do this and this <clears throat> form and shit like that. Like, I wasn't really on my shit. And then the next two years, I probably got a little bit more into like taking it serious. But the past two years. I've been on my fucking grind, like, going state to state and shit. Like, you, you've seen the shit with, with, with what Slummerville and us been doing and shit like that. Yeah. I've been performing every Sunday at Ice House. I've been trying to get this shit out, popping, promoting it to everybody I can. And pretty much every time I go to Ice House and perform, I get, like, a new fan. So There you go. That's what I mean, man. Just those open mics type thing. Yeah. Like, it's what – that you just go, man. It's practice. You know what I mean? Facts. Because you got to have that, you got to have that stage presence, man. Like, yeah. a lot of people just stand there spitting their shit, and it's boring, you know what I mean? You got to be hyping shit. That's what I was telling my homeboy the other day. Like, he'd be like, why, why, how do y'all, how do y'all get so hype, and how do y'all get the crowd so hype at Ice House? And I'd be like, because look, a lot of the artists that perform there, they're really good, right? They got the guitar, they be singing. A lot of them aren't rappers, and they don't do the yeah. So a lot of them are just singing and doing covers and shit like that. They sound amazing. They sound really good. Shout out to everybody. But the thing is, they sound the same, and also they don't really move, and they're not different. They're not a character. They're just somebody who goes and performs. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. When we're there. They know us. They know us by our name. They know us by what we do. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they, when they see us walk in, they're like, "Oh shit, this night, all right, shit's going down." You know what I'm saying? Like, because they know yeah. how to get shit popping. Because even if we have the the worst day ever, we still go on that mic and we get this shit up. Everybody, all the energy's always up. That's, that's what's up, bro. That's, that's what it gotta be, man. You gotta you gotta make sure you got that crowd involved and shit. Facts. And like, but, uh, I gotta I gotta some I gotta get my passport and get the fuck out there, bro. I gotta come see a show and shit, and I fucking just kick it. Facts. Hell yeah. 
Definitely. Like, if you're doing all that, I'd probably set up, like, a little tour, a little couple-day tour type shit we could do. Yeah, man. I'm almost whatever, man. I just, I, I just want to, I, I want to go as a tourist, but I want to go and do some content, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, we, we do a tour type thing around, around. Yeah. And you get to meet all these local artists, get all different characters, of, uh, like, uh, individual interviews and shit. Get, like, people can be like, so many stories. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, definitely, for sure, man. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, any artist that you know, tell them to holler at me and I can interview them on this. I'm trying to get this series up and up and up. Facts. This shit's you know? <laughs> yeah, man. Like, it's it's just a simple interview, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. talk about whatever. I just chop it up and I'm just kidding. And that's smoking cig smoking cigarettes and fucking chilling. Facts. But, uh, <laughs> like... Right now, what what do you what do you have to say like to people about your music? Like, what do you what's your message right now? All right, you want to know what my message right now is? Yeah, because the message is important, man. All right, my message to the people right now is I'm gonna start with some crazy shit. You ready? I'm gonna start with some Pisces shit. All right, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, look, shit be hard sometimes. Life be crucial. Shit be dark. Just keep yep. you gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And another thing is, shout out to everybody. <laughs> and y'all, it's gonna be a whole nother vibe. There's no cap. Sounds it sounds real, man. You sound like you sound like you enjoy what you do, man, and that's important. I love that shit. Music is life. Yeah, is music your nine to five? Music is my 12 to 12. <laughs> okay, word, word, word. <laughs> okay. Half a day, bro, that's what it is. That's all it is, bro, it's, it's life, literally. And what, what, you have a studio at your house, or you go to a studio, or what? Yeah, I got a little studio at my house. It, it, it's a little, it's, all right, so, it sounds good enough for me to be able to perform, like, on Sundays and shit with it, but I can't post it. It does. It's not that good of quality. So, like, yeah. I usually... Like when I write something, I perform, I record it here, just to hear how I how I do it, and also how I perform the whole song itself. Oh, you can. Sorry. You cut out. My can bad, bro. You want to repeat that? You cut out a bit. All right. Can you hear me now? Yeah. All right. So look. So. Um, fuck. I completely lost my track. <laughs> my bad, bro. Damn. The fucking shit, fucking. No, nah, it was. It, I was getting a call from Loki. Shout out Loki, but yeah. <laughs> um, You're saying like it's dark. It's dark and shit. What was I talking about? I've been drinking too much. Don't remember. <laughs> shit. It's all good. Forget about it. We'll figure it out. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As the man takes another drink. Another drink. There you go. All right, so March 2022, we could expect AP. Either and you said, you, you know and you could expect a video this week, you said? This week, in the next few days. three, to, Two to three days. Word. Make sure you send me that so I can post it with you at the same time. And um, the the music video it's going to be is for the song "Wait" on my project for my people that I dropped a month ago. That's at seventy three thousand views on Spotify. Y'all go check out the song "Wait" by JP Audemars right now. You know, check them out. Follow them. Yeah, shout out. Follow me. Follow on the line with you know what I'm saying. It's your host Hanley, bro. That's what I am here to do this. Facts, fam, shit. All right, so yo, when uh, you drop the music video this week, let it run for a couple of days, and then we'll uh, we'll have a repeat episode, and we'll uh, okay. we'll talk about how the how the response has been. Bet I'm down for that shit. All right, for now I'm gonna cut it. It's been good talking to you, my dude. If you're not following me, follow me. If you're not following JP Audemar, follow JP Audemar. Again, shout out to Satan.ca for the sweater. And uh, yeah, episode 15 of Car Chats. Shout out South Carolina, we in here. Canada, we in here. That's what's up. 
And we'll be back in a few days to talk about the video. <laughs> I'm my dude, Salute. All right, bro. Appreciate it. Hey, yeah, my dude. Peace.